Hi, this is Andy, and can you solve this trick's problem? Be sure to tap the linked video below for a more thorough explanation. Okay, so we're gonna start with x equals three secant theta, which leads us to the derivative of three secant theta tan theta d theta. Okay, so now we plug it in. So we get three secant theta tan theta d theta over three secant theta squared square root of three secant theta squared minus nine. So this leads us to three secant theta tan theta d theta over nine secant squared theta nine. We're gonna factor it out. So we get secant squared theta minus one. Okay, so we know this as a trig identity, which equals tan squared theta. So we're gonna plug that in, three secant theta tan theta d theta over nine secant squared theta square root of nine tan squared theta. And as you can know from this, we can square root everything. So we're gonna rewrite it as three tan theta. So now we can start canceling stuff out. Tan theta, tan theta, three, three. And one of the secants cancels out. And we're left with secant we're left with 1 over 9 secant secant theta d theta. We can factor out the 1 ninth outside. So we just, we're just left with uh, 1 over secant theta. However, we know secant theta equals the inverse of cosine theta. So it's 1 over 9 cosine theta d theta. And now we get one over nine sine theta d theta. But we have to replace the theta with the value of sine. And we get that from the tricks of uh, resub right triangle, which will be seen in the long form video. So be sure to click the long form video. And you would get one over nine square root x squared minus nine over x plus c. And that is your answer.